Jesus began, My children, all of you come with baggage from the past. One reason I have birthed you into this community is to heal fatal wounds you've carried around your entire lives. Things that were done to you in the womb, at your birth, when you were a toddler, as a young man, and now an adult. These things cling to you like so much tar. They cripple your interactions with everyone in your life. I brought you here because this is a place of healing, a place where I've brought others with crippling wounds in their past. Because I want to lift this burden from your heart and shoulders. You do not see yourself bent over and crippled. You do not see how these wounds have taken healthy chunks out of your soul and replaced them with fear and rejection. I want to heal these places, but I cannot do it without your cooperation. I know that you avoid people out of fear of being wounded again, especially those you feel closest to, but avoidance is not the cure. Loving kindness and healthy interactions are the cure, but only if you cooperate by giving others a chance, by overcoming those demons that try to isolate you and insinuate evil things out of innocent communication so that you will continue to limp and be bent over. You have so much to offer others, and that is the main reason they have targeted you, to keep you from being that consolation you were meant to be. Satan wants only darkness and alienation for you. He wants to convince you that there is nothing in it for you when you are with a group. How far from the truth this is. It is precisely because you have so much to give that he goads you on to step apart from the group, to stay on the outskirts where it is safe, where you can't get trapped and hurt again. But there is so much in the group that you desperately hunger for, even if you are not aware of it. The cure for all your injuries of the past is first, to forgive, and second, to rewrite the narrative with healthy and happy group encounters. Isn't it a fact that men run from the cure, the unknown, the uncontrollable, the chance to be made whole? They continue to lay in that crippling mold of the past rather than venture out and give others a chance, rather than broadening their interactions with others and be willing to take the risk that maybe this time there is enduring love and friendship in a group setting. Rather, they withdraw to the outskirts where they can slip away and avoid pain. If this describes you, I am asking you to please overcome the wounds of the past and have courage. The courage to give others a chance. The courage not to run away and take cover, but to stay and let me heal you with the love from others. You do not have to follow this pattern all your life. You can overcome it, and your interactions with others will serve to heal your past. Some men retire into their own private world to avoid interacting with others where they stand the chance of being hurt. But when I call you into my service, I want to make you whole before I allow you to be isolated. There are those who choose to be a recluse rather than having to endure the indifference and scorn of men. But I wish to make you whole first, and then when you have learned the lessons of brotherly love, I can save you, pull you from the world, to be with me alone, without unfinished business clinging to you, which is buried in your heart and prevents you from accepting love from even me. Once you accept my love, totally, 
unconditionally. You will then have the capacity to love others the way I love you. So I'm asking you, please be brave and let the love of others heal you so that you may be made whole. Amen.